Alright guys, today we're here to do another video and today we're here to talk about my favorite Oculus Quest 2 VR games to play with your friends. Now you guys know I'm a really big fan of playing, you know, games with your friends in general, whether it be local multiplayer and stuff, and obviously in VR being as social as it is, I thought a list like this made perfect sense. A, game, a, a list of games that you can have the most fun with and your friends being the center of it. So I'm excited to give you guys this list. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech. Alright guys, coming in here at number 15 is a game, you know, I'm a really big board game fan and playing board games in VR with people is such a fantastic time. And Catan coming in here at number 15 definitely showcases on how board games can be done in VR, especially when you take the time and the quality that was put into this game. You can play with four of your friends, everything that you can expect in a Catan game is in here. That you can change up the environment, you can play in a couple of different ones. The graphics look fantastic, the social aspect is great, of course, talking to your friends, uh, all having your own different avatars that you can unlock as you play the game. And Catan is always a fun time, one of the most popular board games out there. So definitely check this out if you're a board game fan with your friends, Catan 15. The next one here coming in at number 14 is Loco Dojo Unleashed. Now this is a game that's uh, really, really fun with your friends. This is like a Mario Party game for VR. So you have a board in front of you, there's 16 different mini games. You're all navigating through this board and, and different things are happening to you. And then after everybody moves, just like a Mario Party, you basically play a mini game in VR and see who comes out on top of the end and who, who gets the the belt to actually win the whole entire thing it's a lot of fun if you especially if you guys are fans of mini games and stuff like that the mini games are really fun designed really well graphics are fantastic and again it definitely reminds me of mario party and vr I actually keep this is a relatively new game i hope that they keep adding a few more mini games over time i don't know if that's what their plans are or not but regardless fantastic party game to play with your friends especially if you guys are all fans of mario party type games so check this one out. This is Loco Dojo Unleashed coming in at number 14. Switching gears here at number 13 is Cookout A Sandwich Tale. So we're switching over to a co-op game now. And this game is reminiscent of games like Overcooked. If you guys are familiar with that game on 2D screens on the Switch and stuff like that. This is that game kind of brought into VR where you're, you and three of your other friends or in a place and you're basically making all of the customers dishes that they ask so if they want burgers if they want sandwiches whatever they want you're basically rapidly trying to do it as fast as possible before your friends some of you guys have different things in front of you one of you guys may have the bread another person may have the ham another person may have this and may have that and you're screaming at each other uh, you know give me this give me that give me give me the egg give me the bread give me that and, and give me the tomatoes uh, kind of frantically trying to fill these orders as fast as possible because the faster you do it, of course, the more points you actually receive. This is a really, really good cooperative game to play with your friends online. I'm actually surprised that this one is not more popular than what it is considering how popular Overcooked is and stuff like that. And they did a fantastic job with this one in VR. Um, you know, a lot of fun. Graphics are great. And it's just a fantastic time with four of your friends. They did add a couple of updates to this one uh, as far as new skins and, and new kitchens that you, uh, you do. So... A lot of fun times with this one. Cook out a sandwich tail coming in at number 13. The next one here coming in at number 12 is Poker Stars VR. Now this trailer you're watching here is their blackjack announcement because even though this game is called poker, uh, they not have only, not only do they have poker in the game and now they have blackjack, they have slots and stuff like that. So there's a lot going on in this game. But playing this with your friends, you know, having like uh, like at least eight people at a table uh, in poker and playing now blackjack and playing the slots and stuff like that and the um, social hub that the game starts in is a fantastic time. There's a lot of fun to be had, especially if you're poker fans and blackjack fans now. Uh, you know, the game is done really well. The graphics are cool. There's different environments to also play in in this game. And it's just a lot of fun. You can obviously unlock like quirky things that you can do in the game, like these little... Um, objects that you can have in the game like watches and you know different random stuff that you can have like hats and glasses to kind of make yourself stand out that you actually buy as you level up in the game and as you earn more coin in the game uh, the game is completely free to play which is obviously really easy for everyone to get into and it's a fantastic time to play with your friends it's like you're having a poker night you know in vr as opposed to having it at home and now you can also do that in blackjack as well with their newest updates so if you guys are fans of either poker or blackjack and you want to check a game out like this with your friends, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Go ahead and check this one out. Poker Stars VR. 
coming in at number 12. The next one here coming in at number 11 is a game that I've been playing for a long time now since it came out this year, and that is Hyper Dash. Hyper Dash with your friends is a fantastic time, uh, especially if you guys are all fans of Unreal Tournament style games. Fast paced FPS games where you can do, uh, you know, and, and the game mechanics in this game, the, the main gimmick is the dashing mechanic where you're dashing on these rails and dashing around in really fast movement. The game is really, really fast paced. Uh, think Unreal Tournament and Quake in VR. That's how fast this game is. Uh, you know, they have different game modes like Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Payload, all the things that you would normally see. And the game is just a blast to play with your friends, especially if you can all get on a team versing another team. It, it, it's, it's really, really fun. They're always adding updates to this game, always doing different seasons, always adding different maps and stuff like that. So if you guys are fans of fast-paced multiplayer games like this and FPSs in VR, this is one of my favorites of the year that has released. That is Hyper Dash coming in at number 11. The next one here coming in at number 10 is another one that I thought would be more popular because of how well th uh, this game is, is done, and that is Dash Dash World. Dash Dash World is basically if you took Mario Kart and brought it to VR, and I don't mean that lightly either. I'm a huge fan of Mario Kart, and this game, uh, you know, having a kart racer in VR is exactly what I wanted, and this game exceeded my expectations in every way. Not only are these developers still updating this game to this day, even though it's been around for a while now, uh, with new maps, they're over, I think they're at like 12 or 13 uh, maps now, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, uh, but there's a lot of variety in the maps, uh, which is what is more important. Not only is there a lot of them, but there's actually variety. There's One map is not designed anywhere near the same as the other. And then, of course, there's all the different weapons that are in the game that you pick up that are really unique to VR. Uh, that you can, you know, have a minigun in VR and kind of shoot each other. You can throw things at each other, just like you would in, in Mario Kart with all the different items that they have. They have it in here as well. And the graphics are really, really well done as well. There's, of course, online multiplayer. You can play with up to eight of your friends and uh, have all this customization as you're unlocking and playing online with your cards, with your hands that you can unlock, like different gloves that you can wear, different pieces for your car. Of course, they have story mode and all that stuff, but obviously we're talking about multiplayer with your friends. And this game has it in spades. If you and your friends are into racing games, into Mario Kart games, this is definitely the game for you, especially with the fact that it has cross-platform play so you and your friends can play on all different headsets. You don't all have to have the same one, which is fantastic if some of you guys are playing on PC and some of you guys are playing on Quest. Guys, give this developer some love. This game is done really, really well. Check this one out. That is Dash Dash World coming in at number 10. The next one here coming in at number 9 is Walkabout Mini Golf. Now, this is their original trailer, but they have done a lot of updates since then. And this game is the game that keeps on giving because I love mini golf in, re in real life, of course. And with the fact that you can play with four of your friends here online and you can go around and not only play mini golf, but you can actually wander the area, explore the maps because you don't have to go right to the holes. You can kind of just walk around on your own, which is what I really love about this game. But also the fact that all the courses are completely different from each other. Also another game that keeps releasing free content and now latest, uh, they've also released some DLC maps as well. And they have plans to continue to do that into 2022. There's a, a lot of content here, over 300 holes already in the game to master. And I believe there's 10 different courses now and they all have, they all just feel like a mini golf course. I love going in there and, and going into caves, going into these different things that make me feel like I'm really at a mini golf course. They did an outstanding job with this one. If you guys are fans of mini golf, definitely don't miss this one with three of your other friends. That is Walkabout Mini Golf coming in at number nine. The next one here coming in at number eight is for all my bowling fans. If you want to go ahead and, and have four of your uh, your friends there in bowling in VR and have a bowling night, this is definitely the game for you. That is 4VR Bowl coming in at number eight. So this one is a fantastic time to have with your friends. And the, one that, the thing that makes this one stand out is the fact that all the alleys are very different. Uh, you know, just playing a regular bowling alley, they have, you know, these crazy alleys that you're in like under the ocean or in the stars and space and everything like that and all the balls have their own unique effects so if you guys are bowling fans definitely check this one out for vr bowl the next one here coming in at number seven is 
uh, a game that used to be called Top Golf with Pro Pub, but has now changed its name to Just Golf Plus because of all the latest content that they added to the game. Uh, and this game is a lot of fun with your friends. Uh, one of my favorite games to play with eight uh, or eight players. You can play online, and you're kind of in like this environment where you can play top golf. If you guys know that from real life, where you're kind of standing over a ledge and hitting the balls and trying to get them in these holes. And the closer you get to the holes, the more points you score. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And then the actual environment that you're in, you know, you could actually listen to music videos and music uh, with the YouTube player that's in the game. They have a lot of mini games that you can play in there. They have full golf courses that you can play with your friends now, which is why they changed the name to Golf Plus. They also do a little bit of other courses as well. Mini golf courses are a little shorter. So there's basically a little bit for everyone. There's the mini golf courses that are smaller courses. There's the long range golf courses. There's a top golf experience in there with the interactive environment and customized music. Check this one out. Golf Plus. The next one here coming in at number six is Contractors. Now you can replace Contractors with whatever your favorite game is. Contractors happens to be my favorite game. You can also replace this with Onward or Pavlov, whichever game you like the most. But this is what I would say is Call of Duty in VR for me. And that's why I like it so much because I love Call of Duty and Contractors kind of fills that void for me in VR. Always another game that's always constantly being updated with new maps and modes. You know, they obviously have the standard stuff and they like Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch and all that stuff. Coming in here with your friends, either, you know, playing every man for themselves or going on a team is, of course, a lot of fun in VR. And this game is has it all for VR. The graphics are great. The modes are fun. Uh, you know, the game plays really well. Always has constant updates from the developer. And this game's also been around for a really long time. It originally was on PC and brought over to the Quest. And they are doing a fantastic job updating this game. If you guys have friends who are fans of Call of Duty uh, and, and you want to bring them into a game like that in VR and play with your friends, this is one of my highly recommended games. I'm having a ton of fun with it. Contractors coming in at number six. The next one coming in at number five is a game that doesn't need any introduction. It's a free game that we all know and love, and that is Rec Room. The trailer that you're seeing here is for their new experience that they added recently, which is Rec Rally, where you can actually, uh, you know, do racing now with your friends. But there's a ton of stuff to do in here. When I mean a ton, I can't describe it in this short video. Uh, this is a free game, so there's no reason why you can't bring your friends in here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do in there. There's many games like Laser Tag. Uh, you know, there's golf in here. Uh, there's obviously in racing now you can go ahead and join clubs and, and kind of hang out uh, at clubs and bars and, and listen to music and stuff like that you can create your own games join other people's games there's a lot of stuff to do in here there's always people rec uh, recreating games from the 2d space into vr in this game with the tools that are available so you'll never have uh, you know nothing nothing to do there's too much to do in here to describe in a short video but everyone should check this game out with your friends because there's an unlimited amount of replayability in this one that is rec room coming in at number five the next one here coming in at number four is in real is the newest game on the list and that is after the fall which recently just came out a couple of weeks ago this is for all my left for dead fans uh, if you want to play a game like that in vr where it's basically you and three of your friends and you're trying to go through and kill the zombies as you know through each level and then you're basically upgrading your weapons you can kind of redo those levels again at higher difficulty but the gunplay is so much fun the levels are uh look really really good on the quest too and it's fantastic time and this game has cross play so you always have a lot of people to play no matter what platform you're playing whether it's quest or pc the game is relatively new they have a lot of plans to release more content uh in the game a lot more modes a lot more maps in the game but the game is off to a fantastic start and i'm having a fun a ton of fun with this one Guys, don't miss us if you want to play co-op with your friends after the fall. The next one on this list is another game that doesn't need any introduction because it's one of the it's probably the most popular multiplayer shooter in all of VR, and that is Population One, coming in at number three. So uh, this is for all battle royale fans. This is our battle royale that we have in VR, where up to eighteen players can go at each other and uh, basically be the last team standing. Uh, sometimes they have limited time modes like deathmatch and stuff in there as well. They're always adding new content to this game as well, uh, more so than any other game. They always have, you know, the map being changed, like the when they did the Wild Wild West, and now it's being changed to the Winter Wonderland here uh, for the winter season. So the map is completely changed. A lot of fun uh, to have now. 24 player matches were recently added, up from 18 when the game first launched. So, and what sets this game apart, not only is it a battle royale in VR, but it's the climbing mechanics. You can basically climb anywhere you want. The gun mechanics are fantastic. Uh, you know, obviously it has the battle royale pass that all these battle royales usually do to keep on launching content and keep keeping your friends playing. So definitely a game to play with your friends, especially if you have a squad of three people. It's a ton of fun. Population one coming in at number three. 
The next one here is another game for my board game fans out there, but this one is uh, really, really well done in VR, and that is Demio coming in at number two. So Demio is a game for all the people who love, uh, you know, board games, but love tabletop RPGs and the, and the dungeon crawls and stuff like that, because that is this game brought into VR. You and three of your friends basically have a board game in front of you. It's a tabletop RPG, and you ha all have these characters that you're controlling, and you're going through this dungeon trying to get to the, to the main boss at the end. And this is a game that keeps on giving another game that they keep adding, you know, different adventures, different maps to different enemies to face uh, where it randomizes everything. So you're never playing the same game twice, even if you're playing the same level. And it's a board game tabletop. So you're basically moving your, your guys around the board, uh, playing like, with your teammates and stuff like that cooperatively, moving around the board, trying to kill these enemies and, and moving and upgrading. And what's cool is that this game uses a card system where you actually get different cards and that's the cards that you use depends on what happens in the game you know casting different spells on your characters or casting different things and the game like i said keeps getting a lot of updates in different dungeons they just added a recent update that added a lot of content to this game they already announced their plans in 2022 that they're even adding a pvp mode coming into the game because right now it's obviously fully cooperative where you're playing with your friends cooperatively but even a pvp mode is coming in 2022 so not many details on that yet but i'm excited to see what that looks like when it comes out but what's here already is fantastic one of my favorite ways to play with friends online uh you know and they just added a save feature because the game can take a while so it's nice that you can actually you know play the game halfway with your friends maybe some of them have to go you save the game come back later so one of my favorite uh games to play in vr right now demio coming in at number two and the last one here coming in at number one which i believe is the only game that is not unfortunately available natively on the quest 2 right now is phasmophobia Phasmophobia is a game on Steam VR for so it's unfortunately only available on PC platforms or you can use a Quest 2 with Airlink uh or you know with the cable the with the link cable if you do have a PC ready for it and if you do I highly recommend it. This is my favorite game that I've played and I can't wait and I keep asking them to port this over to the Quest 2 cuz I think it would be hugely popular. Phasmophobia is basically a four player um that you can play with your friends and it's a horror experience basically what it is is you and three of your other friends are ghost hunters and you're going into these different environments so sometimes it's a small house sometimes it's a school sometimes it's a large cabin sometimes it's an apartment you never know what you're going to get thrown into it's all randomized and there's a bunch of different ghosts in the game there's over 10 ghosts in the game right now with all the updates they've done because they're still constantly updating this game and you're trying to figure out what kind of ghost is in the house and you're using all your different abilities that you have using the ouija board trying to figure out and lure the ghost out there uh, to figure out which ghost is in the house by the different clues that they're leaving. It is crazy scary as hell and one of my favorite horror games to ever play in VR. Please bring this over to the Quest 2. Phasmophobia coming in at number one. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that list as much as I did making it. I love playing games with my friends, and I hope that this list helps you. You know, if you're planning to play games with your friends, this is a great list to take a look at on the Oculus Quest 2. Like you guys saw in the video, the last game that we had on there, Phasmophobia, is a game that is not natively on the quest, but I had to include it on the list because of how much fun I have playing this game with friends, especially because the, I forgot to mention in there at the end of the video that Phasmophobia can also be played in 2D, so you can actually just play it on your PC non-VR, but I don't know why you want to do that because VR is so much better, but point is, is that you'll have a lot of people to always play with because the game is also in 2D and a lot of people play it that way as well. But playing it in VR with your friends is a fantastic experience. If, if, even though it's not native on the native on the Quest 2, you can go ahead, if you have a PC, use AirLink or uh, the Link Cable and stuff like that and still play it as long as you have a gaming ma machine that will work that way. And if you do, I definitely urge you to do so. Uh, other than that, all the other games are fantastic on the Quest 2, of course, uh, as somebody who plays the Quest 2 all the time and loves playing with their friends. So if you guys have any questions about any of the games you guys have seen here today, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.